How can we get an elevation angle measurement from a curved surface? Elevation angles can be measured from a curved surface by using a device or method that can accurately determine the angle between a reference plane and a point on the surface. For example, a clinometer or a theodolite can be used to measure the elevation angle of a point on a curved surface relative to a horizontal reference plane. These instruments use a sighting mechanism to align with the point on the surface, and a scale or display indicates the measured angle. Other methods, such as laser ranger finders or satellite-based positioning systems, can also be used to measure the elevation of a point on a curved surface. These methods typically involve measuring the distance between the point and a reference level, such as sea level, and using trigonometric calculations to determine the elevation angle. I hope this helps to clarify things. Please let me know if you have any further questions. So you need a horizontal reference plane. Yes, a horizontal reference plane is often used as a reference when measuring elevation angles. So the ground would be the flat baseline used for the angles. Yes, in celestial navigation, the celestial equator can be thought of as the ground, and is used as a reference plane to measure the elevations of celestial objects above or below it. So in celestial navigation you measured elevation angles and considered the ground as flat. Yes, in celestial navigation, the celestial equator is used as a reference plane to measure the elevations of celestial objects above or below it. The celestial equator is an imaginary circle on the celestial sphere that is the projection of the Earth's equator. Onto the celestial sphere, it is used as a reference frame to describe the positions of objects in the sky. When measuring the elevation of a celestial object, an angle is measured between the object and the celestial equator. This angle is called the object's elevation angle. The celestial equator can be thought of as the horizontal reference plane in this context. And the elevation angle is measured between the celestial object and this reference plane but we consider it flat. Why if it isn't? In celestial navigation, the celestial equator is considered a flat plane in a way that is V. Similar to how a map is considered a flat representation of a three-dimensional space. The celestial sphere is a theoretical construct that represents the celestial objects as if they were located on the surface of a very large sphere that surrounds the Earth. When we look up at the sky, we see the celestial objects as if they were located on this sphere. To make it easier to navigate and understand the positions of celestial objects, we can represent the celestial sphere on a flat map. This is similar to how a globe is a three-dimensional representation of the Earth, but maps are two-dimensional representations of the Earth's surface. In celestial navigation, the celestial equator is used as a reference plane to measure the elevations of celestial objects above or below it. It is convenient to consider the celestial equator as a flat plane in this context because it allows us to use two-dimensional maps to represent the three-dimensional positions of celestial objects. So you need a horizontal reference plane. Yes, a horizontal reference plane is often used as a reference when measuring elevation angles. So the ground would be the flat baseline used for the angles. Yes, in celestial navigation, the celestial equator can be thought of as the ground and is used as a reference plane to to measure the elevations of celestial objects so you need a horizontal reference plane yes so the ground would be the flat baseline used for the angles yes 